Hello again, this is Lynn Suzak and this is the Video Church. Well, my stuff is seriously different from anything else I'm seeing on there. And that, the way that I'm talking, like conversation, some of you like it and um, I like it this way. I'm just having a problem with seeing the way that people preach and it's like I can't listen to you talking to me like bam 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 like 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 that is uh that's hard to listen to so i kind of like the style and acting like you know whoever i'm talking to is right here and so um what i do is i mull over what i feel like god is showing me and the more i talk about it the, the more i digest it and hopefully you anyone there is interested in healing and how it works and faith is you know should be interested in this well there are as i've said before um with Kylis and curry blake and andrew womack and uh they're, they're the closest to the kind of uh what i believe in in how faith works so for instance you may have seen matrix matrix mindset by curry blake and it talks about how um your faith is similar to you know what happens in the matrix because what happens in the physical realm compared to what happens in the spiritual realm we need to understand that there's stuff going on in the spiritual realm before it goes on here and uh well here being the physical realm here is spiritual and physical so um he he compares the matrix movie to um what he believes is going on spiritually which i agree and it's so helpful so sometimes i'm watching or you know it's like the lord can speak to you through a rock or through a child or um just looking out at nature you know he's speaking but he speaks a lot in stories and comparisons to help us understand a spiritual world well whatever i'm doing i'm thinking spiritually so i was watching star trek i probably already did one on another star trek before <laughs> because it's there's a lot of stuff in, in there that I relate to spiritually. Well, this one was about these flowers that were spewing, like, you know, kind of a, on a planet, making people happy. And yet they were not being productive. They were sort of under an influence of a drug and everybody was happy. And they thought, well, we're happy and we're healthy. So we don't need anything else, whatever it was. It was only Kirk who ended up not being under this influence and and everybody was not listening to him anymore. It was almost like a mutiny. Anyway, the point is at the end of this I was like, Oh, this is good. Okay. So I'm like I'm like, how is he gonna get out of this, you know? And he was like sitting all alone on his ship going how does this how what is how am i going to you know get these people to snap out of it i personally am trying to snap out of what i believe is a delusion of being paralyzed right and i've had people have dreams about it being like and i've also been taught by andrew womack that anger you know get angry at it and curry blake get fed up you know, when you get fed up, that's when it works. And I know, I agree with that. I I mean, it takes an emotional, like, it doesn't have to. When you know, you don't have to be emotional. But for things to happen, sometimes you, there is emotion involved. And what happened at the end of this uh, episode, I had never seen this before. It was, um... He, he was resisting, it wasn't affecting him because he was, you know, he's in charge and he was getting angry about it and that 
strong emotion turned out to be what was helping defer or get rid of it, the, the, the uh, influence of this, this <laughs> I know it sounds so funny. So, and I was like, yeah. Okay, so at the end, what he did is he brought, he got um, Spock to come back, who amazingly was under this influence of being all happy and in love and, and he wasn't listening. I don't want to do anything, you know, he didn't want to. Well, he needed a Spock even to snap out of it. I know. And he brought him back on the ship and they were alone. Well, what he did was he started insulting him and stirring up anger to, to draw a emotion. And he knew it was taking a big risk and that Spock could even get so mad that he would hurt him and kill him so it anyway he kept doing it and then he Spock did get it stirred up emotionally strong emotion and almost like hit him and stuff I think he did hit him <laughs> and then he did start stamping out of it and I was like I have been wanting to know how am I gonna stir up anger in myself and I've heard teachings by Andrew Womack about stirring up emotion and anger against what you're going through and snapping yourself out of it and I've heard, and then you know I'm getting like okay Smith Wigglesworth he doesn't he never explained as far as I know why he did the violent stuff that he did and that I'm thinking you know when he dropped the lady that had a tumor had her like stand up stand her up and just let her go and she hit the floor oh my gosh and then you know different things that were violent you know the violent take it by force I believe that and it worked and other things that can snap people out of it there's something about this well when he when she hit the floor more than once I mean it probably makes her made her angry but nobody ever talked about that happening and uh, in the in People say, oh, you have to be led by the Spirit. Don't just go around hitting people. But um, there, I'm relating to stirring up an anger somehow because I've had um, dreams that I was, got so, you know, basically fed up and angry that I got up and walked, you know. And that is, I, I know that is probably the way that it would happen. But yet, I feel like I'm under the influence of a drug that I'm just like real, you know, like relaxed and passive about this situation, and I don't want to be. And I've just, it's not a decision that I've made consciously how to, um, you know, just to, to not be fed up with it and not be angry. I certainly am fed up with it but not like to emotional level of uh, probably from frustration I've kind of just dulled my emotions to deal with it and um, you know it's been 30 years while well, things are happening and I'm looking for improvement I feel improvement but you know a certain strong emotion like that can cause it to happen quickly I believe is what um, the truth is and how to stir yourself up into getting there you know this was like an example like I said on Star Trek that um I was like oh you know there's been so many things I've seen that um, are spirit you can relate to spiritually again like I had um, a, de a definite revelation of uh, the Lord bringing, you know, something that I had seen before, The Wizard of Oz, where um, I've got a blog about the ruby slippers, um, where Judy, is it Judy Garland? She was, uh, she was Dorothy, and she didn't know how to get home, which is like me not knowing how to get healed, like right away wanting to be healed, but not knowing how to have it happen and you know the whole time she's there in the was in the land of us she wants to go home and it's like the whole time I'm here uh, it's like a bad dream and I want to go back to being walking and 
you know, the Lord showed me in a vision that it was like, I have the power the whole time, uh, the ruby slippers, and I, and, and then when she's told, she's at the end, she was told, you know, click your heels and believe uh, and say, there's no place like home. Well, it's kind of the same thing. Click your heels and, you know, just speak God's word and, you know, believe and you'll see it happen. And yet, um, the response that she gave her about why she didn't tell her at the beginning was, she said, you wouldn't believe it. And um, in other words, her, it was kind of like a faith thing and her, somehow her, whatever, whoever wrote that may not have known what they were talking about. There's just so much God flows through people or uses things as an example for us. And it's not necessarily like that was God writing the Wizard of Oz, but he, he points out, okay, to the farmers, he, he talks about seeds and, and we understand how seeds work and, and faith works like seeds. And to, there's just, you know, examples on TV. Uh, there's, there's many things that we can learn. And it's not that those shows are necessarily God ordained or, you know, written, you know, that he influenced that. But since they are there, you know, and we're watching, I mean, everything I do, I'm watching with the Lord and thinking spiritually. So no matter what's happening, I'm like, here's what I would do, you know, if I was in that situation by faith, you know, so think, think spiritually and, and not naturally all the time. And, uh, I'm going to be pondering that thought of stirring up that anchor and getting things going, but things are going too. You gotta, we, we gotta know that they are going and watch for it and look for the improvement and notice and believe that they are happening. But we want that sudden, you know, sudden healing to, uh, to show up. Amen. Thanks for listening.